at the top of the acquisition area in Ocean View. I have several icons over here. Some of them are used to zoom in and out of the spectrum. These over here are the ones that are used to save spectra. So this one here will actually copy your spectra to a clipboard and you can paste the data separately into something like Notepad and save it as a text file, then you can load it into Excel. This one right here with the little spectrum on the disk is the button you click to save the spectra directly to a folder. Sometimes this doesn't work very well though. This one here with a little wrench next to it is the setup so you can change the file folder you're saving your spectra to. Saving your spectrum can be done in one of two ways. The software is not reliable as we would like it to be sometimes. So I have a spectrum down here and I wish to save it so I'm going to come up to this menu up here and I'm going to click on this thing that looks like an old disk, uh, like a floppy disk that says save disk to files. So that is actually right here. And hopefully the software will actually save it. And the only way you can actually tell is to go into the documents, find the Raman data, find whatever folder it happens to be saving into and see if your file is there. To know how, where you're saving your files, you go to this icon here, which is configure file saving. And this will tell you which directory you're in. Okay, so we can go to mine and open and apply. Okay. So again, if we go to my file system here then, we're looking to see right here if I save this file and click that button now, it should save into my folder. And it actually did. It usually saves with a name, unless you tell it otherwise, that's just a bunch of numbers and then you need to rename it to make it some kind of sense. If the software doesn't feel like doing this, which happens sometimes, the other way of saving your XY data so you can plot it somewhere is to actually come back up to this menu up here and click this icon which says copy data to clipboard and then it'll say it's been copied to the clipboard and then you just need to open something like the notepad here and paste and then your data will be pasted there and you can save this as a text file which can be loaded into Excel.